Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, let me give you a little demonstration of what I can consider a daily occurrence here in the Gambia. Come on, and I'll show you. So just like America, people also go to the bathroom here in Africa. So I will take my bucket. I filled this with water previously. Right, and then I'll explain the other items as we go. Um, yes, so this is the bathroom. Um, or should I say the hole? So that's that's where the magic happens. Um, so if I were to use the bathroom, I would, I'm not gonna take off anything, but I was just gonna squat and take care of things. And then I'd bring toilet paper out here if I needed to. As for a shower, I have my bucket, I have my cup, I have my scrubbing cloth, and then I have soap. This uh, this is a soap dish. The soap dish used to be just a container, a plastic container for candy, but it was strong enough to use as soap dish when I was finished, so I keep it in there. So, if I was to take a shower, I would take off the lid, flip it over so that the dirty side is on the outside, clean side facing up, put my rag there, and then I would scoop in the water, I would take off the soap, clean off the soap, um, so it's wet and so I can get soap off of it. Then I douse myself a couple of times, put the soap in the rag, shake it around a bit so I can get some soap in there, scrub, get a couple more things of water until I'm clean. And then I'd, ha I'd have a towel out here and I'd dry myself off. So that is how to stay clean in the Gambia. Good. So we're gonna show you how my water filter works. So ideally I would go to the borehole, which is a eh, five minute walk get water, fetch it. This is empty, but use your imagination. Look inside, you can see there are two, I think they're clay candles, which will kind of absorb a lot of the nasty. And then that'll, and then, so if I was pouring it, boom, 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 till this is full. Cover that up. And then on the inside here, you got the two black nozzles, which they will drip water down into here. And so this water is halfway done. So if at all I was to open this spigot, that would drip out, I would fill my water bottle, and then I would take two drops of chlorine, one, two, put it in there, two drops for every one liter of water, um, and then I would wait 15 minutes, and then it would be safe to drink. Um, there was one alternative method, which is boiling it on the stove there. It's much more expensive, because you have to pay for gas to heat it, and... Um, and then you have to wait for it to cool down because I don't want hot water on a hot day. I'd rather have lukewarm water on a hot day. But that's, that's how you get water here in my village, in the Gambia.